kind of get a kick out of doing it now for maybe that reason. Um, and, you know, and the other thing is that, it, uh, you know, some songs are sort of closer to being autobiographical than others. And I kind of have this, uh, you know, as I get older and I'm teaching music business as well as songwriting and in my business classes, there's a dynamic that keeps coming up all the time that uh, I try and teach young musicians about, which is this whole thing of the balance of ego and humility and, you know, how you, you need a certain amount of it to, in order to get up in front of people and, and, and imagine that, you know, what I create and what I think is important and should be important to you. you know, like you need some ego to do that. But at the same time, you know, you have to try and balance that with this whole thing of uh, how lucky you are that uh, mm -hmm. if you get a career up and running and, and people actually will pay money to come and see you, like, you, you gotta sometimes look in the mirror and just go, how are you pulling this fraud off? <laughs> like, you know, because it's just, a, it's a lucky thing, you're blessed that you get this chance to do something, right? So ego and humility, you know? And I think the more that you have humility in what you do, but you do it with conviction, you know? You do it like you like it matters. And that passion becomes something people go, I like that guy. Yeah, he's, right. not, he's not bullshit, he's real. Yeah. And, and I think audiences, they relate to that. So I try to get students to understand the difference between doing some plastic fucking goofy bullshit thing, <laughs> and, but, or really meaning it. You know, so, and my son, my son sent me a video of the guy that's in darkness. Have you ever seen this guy, Justin Hawk, Hawkins? <laughs> yeah. He's crazy, but he's really good. Like he's an extremely talented, strange duck. You know, <laughs> and I went, it'll be interesting to see what he's like when he's sixty. <laughs> he's got a lot of ego. I'm not, I'm not sure how much humility he's got. You know? sound a lot better than Beyonce, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. She looks way better than you. <laughs> Thank you, man. I have lip synced uh, uh, anthems because sometimes they tell you, yeah, you really should have a backup. You, you know, we need to have a recording of it in this circumstance. And then sometimes they come to you and say, the wind is kind of funky and the temperature is no good. You're going to lip sync. And they tell you. So I don't know why they're kicking the shit out of her. That girl can, she can out dance anybody. Come on, let's all of us run a race against her and see who wins. Because her cardio is freaky. I don't know how she does what she does. I mean, I used to run around on stage, but not like that. And not in high heels. <laughs> Anyhow. I don't know how we got on Beyonce. Uh, I mentioned something about Eagle. Yeah, this song that we're going to do is, it's kind of about that. It was the beginnings of my understanding of what it's like. Cause my songs were on the radio, and I was going, hey, that's me, you know? And uh, I was looking in the mirror at this guy thinking, so what is this going to mean, riding around in limos and, you know, getting nice big fat checks? So that's what the song's kind of about. It's called Ordinary Man. Yeah. Justice. 
once I thought the truth was gonna set me free. Now I feel the chains of its responsibility. I will not be a puppet. Oh, I cannot play it safe. I'll give myself away with a blind and simple faith. Cause I'm just the same as you. I just do the 